Hi, this is Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, Spartan117, reporting in for Uber Nick's channel. Hey, thanks for all the amazing support you've shown this year. 2020 is going to be awesome. Indeed, the possibilities will be infinite. Have a great holiday and a happy new year. Master Chief, out. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Chief, for stopping by. I'll see you again next year. Hey, what's up, guys? Nick here. That was just my buddy, Master Chief. He decided to stop by and, you know, drop a little message here on the channel for all of you. That is probably the coolest intro that I'm ever going to have here on YouTube. So make sure you drop a like on this video because that's it. That's peaked. You're never going to get better from me. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about why 2020 is going to be an amazing year for Halo, why you should be excited. If you don't know already, 2020 is probably going to be the most insane year we have ever seen as Halo fans. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that sub button. We're literally like 100 subscribers away from 70,000. So we're so close. We're literally there. This is my end of year goal and we're 100 away now. So just hit that sub button. I would really appreciate it. So we're playing some BTB as always. I'm absolutely still addicted to big team battle. I don't know what it is about just larger game modes in Halo, but I just have an absolute blast playing them. Ah! No, I wanted to stop you from getting the Banshee. No, let me away from this. So as I was saying, 2020 is about to be absolutely crazy for us as Halo fans. A year unlike any other that we've ever seen. Of course, we've had many years where Halo games have come out, but nothing quite like 2020. In 2020, there are going to be multiple Halo games releasing, which is unheard of before. You know, we're lucky to get one a year at this rate currently. But now that Halo PC is a thing, now that it's actually starting to happen with Reach just coming out earlier this month, that is just the start of this massive ball rolling with Halo games releasing on computer. So just next month, they actually plan to have Combat Evolved Flighting begin, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'll be honest, I've never been the biggest CE fan just because I have no nostalgia for it. I never played it when I was younger, but I'm really, really excited to finally play it on PC. I know it's already available on PC, but playing it on the MCC, I think will be a lot of fun and really give me a good chance to dive into that game. Just seeing Combat Evolved Anniversary is going to be incredible. So that's probably the biggest thing I'm most excited for. So I think that game is probably going to come out in like February time, something like that. You know, shouldn't take too long to come out after it's flighting since it is technically already on PC. Then soon after that, I hope that the Halo 2 flighting will begin sometime maybe in March. That's what I'm guessing. And then in April, hopefully Halo 2 will then come out. And then it just keeps going from there. We have the Halo 3 flighting, which will hopefully not take too long after Halo 2's launch and then ODST and then Halo 4. Of course, issues do pop up. Things we don't expect can happen. So, you know, we have to leave a little bit of wiggle room for this kind of stuff just to make sure that the game's do have proper development time. But something that I feel like a lot of people don't actually realize is there's multiple teams working on these games. It's not just one group of like 20 people trying to port all the games to PC. It is many, many, many multiple teams all working at the same time on each game. So I have a lot of hope and a lot of faith that all of these games will drop in 2020. I'm pretty sure 343 are also very confident. I know Reach took a long time. It took like, what, 10 months to come out or, or something like that, if not longer. But all the groundwork work has been laid out. All the hard parts have been done for this game. So hopefully that has laid the rest of the games out to be, you know, somewhat smooth transition to PC. But not only that, at the end of next year, we have the brand new Xbox Series X coming out. And along with that, it brings a small gift for us Halo fans. Just something tiny that we all may enjoy just a little bit. Of course, that is Halo Infinite. That's right, a new Halo game is coming out next year. I'm not joking, it's actually happening. We no longer have to sit and be excited about old games releasing on PC. As hype as that is, I'm desperate for something new. I've been kind of sad here for the last five years, just being like, you know, Halo 5 is fun and all. I enjoyed this game, but I'm, I'm waiting for something new. I, I need something fresh in my life. So Halo Infinite is going to be that on a brand new console. So that means Halo is going to be the most hyped thing in existence because everybody will be playing it. But the absolute best part is it's also coming to the Xbox One. So it's not just coming to the Series X. If you own an Xbox One, you'll still be able to play the new Halo game, which is absolutely incredible. And just like all the MCC games, it's also coming to PC. So Infinite is going to be everywhere, you know, besides PlayStation, but that's obvious. So next year is just like a Halo fan's dream. Basically everything you could ever want 
as a Halo fan is happening next year and then in 2021 obviously going a little bit more into the future we have the Halo TV show coming out but I couldn't help but just think to myself earlier on today that it's just kind of crazy that it's actually all coming true I feel like I've spent the last couple of years of my life just kind of waiting for this moment if that makes sense Halo is a lot more than just a game for me it's probably my biggest passion in life and I know you know, it's a video game in the end of the day, it's nothing real, but you know, people are super passionate about many different things in life, whether it's sports, whether it's cars, whatever, mine just happens to be Halo. I just really love this series. I really just enjoy everything about it. So now after all these years of waiting, we're finally getting the thing that we've been waiting for. And it just, it doesn't even feel real. It really does not feel that real. Oh, that guy got so confused. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. No, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I did so well there, but I want you guys to drop a comment down below. How do you feel about all this stuff happening so quickly? I feel like 2020 is going to go You didn't see anything, but how do you guys feel about all of this stuff happening in 2020? The year is going to go by very very fast 2019 is now finally coming to a close But I say finally as if it didn't go by extremely quick 2019 literally felt like it went by in a blink of my eye it's insane so many things have happened this year so many things that you guys just wouldn't even believe have happened this year it's definitely been the craziest year of my entire life up to this point i've got to travel to america a couple of times which is nuts you know whenever i was a kid going to america was just like a a far off dream because it would be something that me and my family would do every couple of years as a big holiday you know it takes so much planning so much work and just it wouldn't be like a, a simple process whatsoever but now at the age of 25 i went to america three separate times this year all because of halo so just what this year has brought me through my love for Halo has been the best thing ever, so I cannot wait to see what 2020 has in store for me. But as Master Chief did say at the beginning of this video, I just want to remind you guys and say once again that I am incredibly thankful and will always be beyond grateful for all the support you've shown me. I know Halo has been in a bit of a tough spot for a while now, but that is all changing really, really soon, and I, I cannot wait. It's honestly the most hyped I've ever been at any point in my entire life, I would say. Wait, is this going to work? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's gonna work. I, I guarantee it's gonna work. Please just don't stick my teammate. Please, please, please. <gasps> oh, it's gonna stick me! No, we're, we're good! No, it stuck me! Well, this is now officially my last ever Halo video as I'm disappearing off the internet. It was an honor, everyone. It was an absolute honor. <laughs> No, I'm so close to racking up. Are you kidding me? Bro, the tier grind is very, very real. It's taking me forever. I'm tier, what, 58 right now? I'm two away from 60. Oh, come on, Nick, you can do this. I'm so close to inclement weather. I need it. If you guys can't tell, by the way, I am wearing my new merch, the Uber Nick Box logo tee. Very, very clean. Very, very nice. So if you want to check it out for yourself, link to my merch in the description. The rumor is if you wear my merch, you actually become better at Halo and you become 18 times more attractive. But Nick, it doesn't seem to be working for you. Quiet you, okay? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Okay, squad, me and the me and the boys going to rule out in the Warthog. This is where Halo is at its absolute best. Me and the boys in the hog. Oh God, we're dying. Oh, we're all dead. Oh, it's an... Oh! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Get back in the Uber, get back in the Uber. We're gonna go back all the way around. We never came this way. I think Halo is personally at its best whenever you and the squad are rolling together. <gasps> you and the squad are rolling together. Oh my goodness, yep, and we're definitely dead because there's a wraith down there that I forgot about. Whenever you're rolling in a Falcon or something like that, just a group vehicle of any kind, and it seems to be going well, that's when I have the most fun. Or sniping, sniping is also the most fun because I just love taking people's heads off. It sounds a lot more brutal than I expected, but you get what I mean. Oh no, the Wraith, I thought it was dead. <laughs> but I'm still absolutely loving this game to bits. It's streaming, it has been so much fun. It's really nice that all of you guys seem to be really enjoying the content as well. The daily December grind is tough, but you know, I make do, I, I grind through it. I'm still trying to learn where all the weapon spawns are on these maps, there is a lot to learn. And uh, unfortunately, I just don't know them all yet because all the different game modes spawn them in different places. So it's just, Pretty much impossible to keep track of everything. Ooh, do you want to be my driver, buddy? Ooh, woo, let's go. Okay, okay. I am the gunner. I usually don't ever gun. I'm always the uh, the driver in these situations. So we'll see what happens. Come on, get him, get him. Oh, an assist. Oh, come on. 
Yo, my teammate is actually doing a great job of driving. Just ignore the the stanky stuff coming off my Spartan on the turret in the back here. It's okay. Just ignore that. <gasps> no. Oh, he nearly fell off, but we're fine. I believed in him. Come on, red team. Or I thought, are you scared of my teammate on my turret? I would be as well. I'd be terrified. <laughs> why do I talk so much crap? Like, why do I open my mouth and say things to people? If I sat here in silence, played the game like normal, everything would be okay. I probably would still be alive. I have one rocket to rule them all. Can I at least get a kill with it? Oh, I don't want to fire it. There we go. I have a terrible, terrible track record of firing rockets that basically may as well go behind me because I missed that bad with them. Even though they're meant to be extremely powerful, I still somehow suck with them. Never fear, team. I'm getting myself a Falcon. I just need some, uh, some gunners and we are good to go here. Come on. Dix, I know you want to get in, buddy. This will be the best decision you ever make. Swas, 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 swas. Okay, okay, we're good. I feel confident. I feel good. I just need to give him some angles here. Give him the angles. There you go. Fire on the red team. Nice, that actually worked. Unreal. Oh, he's in the wraith. Shoot him up, shoot him up. Yes, it's all working. No, he jumped out. Why would he ever jump out? No. No, your turn, get in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, oh God, oh God. No, escape ship. Well, you know what? I survived and that's all that really matters in the end. Okay, this, this is fine. We do not need to stay on all four wheels. That's not part of being in a warthog. Part of it is flipping over repeatedly. No, stop shooting me. Oh, I got that kill. That's like the most long range turret kill I think I've ever gotten in Halo. Come on, fellas, let's do this. Sorry, Mr. Jetpack. That's not going to work for you. Hey, and we did it. Wow. Kind of went off in the Warthog there. Not too shabby. Usually, I actually suck with the turret, to be honest with you. But I think it all comes down to a good driver. And we're going to rank up in the end as well. The cherry on top. I'm now a general. You absolutely love to see it. It's just going to take me about two months to get to the next rank. Oh, wait. Is it? I'm actually very, very close already to the, to the next rank. Ooh, I'm really close. Hey, just because I was so close to tier 60, I'm going to play one more game just to get there. Because I feel like it would be a crying shame if I don't hit it on video while I'm so close. No, he was one shot. No, I nearly clutched it. Did I get him? Where'd my sticky go? Hello there, red team. Be a shame if you died. What a beautiful view we have as well. Okay, so the enemy team are doing a great job of kind of holding the spire at the moment. Ah! What the hell is wrong with you? So the enemy team are doing a great job of holding the spire and my team is doing a great job of ramming me with ghosts for no apparent reason. All in all, just making this a very difficult game. But as long as I get enough experience to get to uh, tier 60 in the end, I'll be happy enough. Why is this not a thing that I can do? Why can I not just take a ghost up here as well? This is incredibly upsetting. Come on, just go. I know you want to launch. No! <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw the most tactical plasma grenade of my entire life. I'll just go. I'll just go myself. I'm being literally zero help from my team, but that's all about to change now that I have a Banshee. <gasps> oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. Oh no, not like this. No! Oh, I survived. No! Yes, I'm gonna survive. One kill, one kill, we need one kill, please. Yes, yes, somehow I got 17 kills in the end, I don't know how. That will be one tier 60, please. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like surprisingly in this video, I actually got to tier 60. It uh, went a lot quicker than what I expected. All that means now is that I have to go through all of this and all of this, and then I get inclement weather, which is like the final piece of the puzzle, I guess, to my armor. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe if you're brand new. We're literally on the cusp of hitting 70,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So I love you all, thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Daily December upload. Bye!